What is up you guys, it's Prenda here and here's a video I feel I have to cover because of the nature of my channel. Now the first thing you guys should know is that I would never do a challenge that would put myself or anyone else in harm's way. All the challenges I attempt I know I'm going to be able either to do, maybe not in the timeline wise, but I'm going to be able to do it and not cause myself harm or cause harms to others. And this is why I have turned down some challenges, for example, somebody said after seeing me do the Maduri bottle I should do a bottle of absinthe. It's not going to happen. Absinthe is far too strong an alcohol content for my stomach uh, and my liver to handle and this would probably result in me being violently sick, needing my stomach pumped, so that's something I wouldn't do. And this kind of brings me on to the topic of today's video, which is going to be the whole, you know, neck nominations are causing deaths. So in case you guys didn't know, two people in Ireland have tragically died and the media, I'm saying media here, has linked these deaths to the neck nomination challenges that are going around. And hopefully you guys are familiar with it because hopefully you've seen mine, if you haven't I have a link in the description to that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to kind of try and shine some light into what's happened with these and why it's not the neck nomination that these tragic deaths have occurred. So the first death I'm going to talk about is from a DJ in Ireland who downed a litre of Irish whiskey. Um, and if in case you guys don't know how big a litre bottle is, this bottle of absinthe is 500 mils. So if you imagine a bottle double this size, he did a bottle was a double the size of Irish whiskey, sitting at 46%. Now, that is enough to hospitalise anybody if you do it by yourself. He had been pre-drinking as well, and the police have said that when they did the autopsy, there was speculation of drugs in his system. So this is probably one of the reasons that he died, um, I suppose. The fact that took too much alcohol on board, had other stuff in his system, and okay, he did the bottle as an neck nomination, but he would have probably done it anyway, or eventually it was his own fault and his decision to do it. Nobody forced him to do um, things they didn't want to do. Nobody forced him to do the bottle of whiskey. He decided himself to do it and, and kill himself, essentially. Um, and I'm not trying to take away from like the fact that it's a tragic death. So that's that one. So second one also happened in Ireland as well. Um, a bit of a reoccurring theme going on here. Um, and the thing, what he did for his neck nomination was all he did was a pint. But because he was pre-drinking, drinking afterwards, um, and stuff like that, basically, they don't know the exact details, but he fell into a river, couldn't swim because the current was too strong for how drunk he was, and ended up drowning. Um, it's very sad, feel for the family for this as well. Um, but I don't see how this is linked to neck nomination, because a pint of beer is not gonna get you drunk. Um, he did it at a pub, so he was drinking anyway. So down the pint of beer for your neck nomination when you're in a pub is nothing anyway. My mates go out, we down pints of beer for sometimes, you know, save the queen. Um, and doesn't mean we're going to go jump in a river and, you know, drown ourselves. So that's kind of how it's sad. So that's the two deaths that have happened from it. Now the reason I want to get on to explain why these aren't really neck nominations fault is I can sort of link the whole, you know, violent video games are linked to mass murders. The whole concept of that because a lot of you guys that watch my videos I presume are gamers or I know are gamers from old subscribers. Now you guys know, you guys play video games. It, they don't make you murderers or whatever. It's your whole mentality in your head as to what you're going to do. Now, the guy obviously that downed a liter of whiskey, he was obviously mindset on doing it. He wanted to prove a point that he could do it or just to try to show off or whatever. It didn't pay out for him. That wasn't the fact that the neck nomination caused him to do that or forced him to do that. It was his choice. And then the guy, the other guy that drowned, that was just an unfortunate event. Now, the whole thing about neck nomination is it started in Australia. It started with an Australian guy standing on a pool table, down in a pint, and then challenged two of his mates to do it in a funnier location. And this, this did happen for a while, like people were doing funny ones, they were going up to like outside pubs, just picking up a pint, some random pints on the table and downing it, and then running off. People were doing it at zoos, people were doing it in like swimming pools, people were doing it really crazy places and fun, enjoyable places. And then somebody took it and they started to put sauces and spices in it, and eggs, and that was, that was, that was like crazy stuff, and that was still quite funny. But it's when people got to, you know, down in bottles of vodka, putting hard on like a shit ton of crazy spirits in it. Okay, I did that, but this is the whole point that I'm trying to get to is you shouldn't do something unless you know you can handle it. Like, it's not the whole neck nomination's fault. It's not it to saying you have to do this because you don't have to. It's your choice what you put in it. Like, I've even seen people do pints of water because they don't want to drink, and that's fine. Like, you're nobody's forcing you to do it or forcing you to drink. It's your whole, it's you, the person that does the neck nomination who's essentially whose fault it is for what happens after it. Um, so that's pretty much it guys, I just wanted to clear some stuff up about that and some stuff about my channel, how that I would never do anything to, you know, 
put myself or anyone else at harm. One quick thing before I go is Jed, who does the challenges with me and does the raps, has started a gaming channel. I'll have a link in the description to his first video. You guys should definitely go check it out and tell him I sent you. And if you have enjoyed this video, a like we'd much appreciate. If we can hit 50 likes on this video, guys, that'd be pretty awesome. If you're new here, please do subscribe. It really does support me a lot. If you guys want to check out my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter or Google+, Plus, links to them will be in the description as always. The music in the background is by a band called Waiting On Jack, really good friends of mine, make sure you go check them out as well. Other than that guys, I have been The Prentai, and I'll see you all soon.